Hello, I'm Vemmer and today I'm going to show you how to use all the sheets for live mode, create a sim and build and buy mode. But first, don't forget to subscribe my channel, like the video and comment what you would like to see in the future of this channel. If I forget anything, comment below so I can do a part 2 of this video in the future. All the sheets that I use in this video will be in the description below so you can copy and paste to your game. So now, without further ado, let's get into the video. So, as you can see, I'm here with my sim, Zara Lehman, and I want to go to this lot. But I can't afford it. How do I make it affordable? First, you have to press the Control Shift C keys in your keyboard. Forgot to say that in the consoles is L1, L2, R1, and R2. As you can see, it will open the sheet bar. To activate all the sheets, you have to write first testing sheets through. So, after that, all the sheets will be enabled in the game. If you are in live mode, it will open a box saying that sheets are enabled, but because I'm in the world map view, it won't appear that. So, as you can see, I can't buy this terrain. So, how can I afford this? You can use the money sheet, but that won't work here. So, what do you do? You open the sheet box by using the Control shift c button, and you write free real estate space on. After that, it will appear free real estate is on. So, you press Control shift c to close the sheet bar, and you can see that now all the terrains are affordable, and they are free. So, I won't spend any money here. So, now we can play with our sim. Now, I activated the sheets in in the map view but I have to activate it again in live mode so they work so you have to put control shift C and write testing sheets true and when this box appears it means that your sheets in live mode build and buy and create a sim are enabled so you press again control shift C to close the sheet bar and as you can see I have all the sheeting options teleports create animals and things like that now go into the build and buy mode which is one of the most famous parts of Sims 4 I'm going to place a house but as you can see I have zero money you have to open the sheet bar and because your sheets are already all available you don't have to write testing sheets again so there are four money sheets and they are Rosebud for 1000 simoleons, you have Kashing for another 1000 simoleons, and you have Motherload for 50,000 simoleons. After all of that, you have the best money sheet, that is money, space, and you write the quantity that you want. So money, space, and you write the quantity of money that you want. Imagine that I want 800,000 simoleons, I have 800,000 simoleons. Imagine that I want zero simoleons, I have zero simoleons. You just can't put space. It's like if you write money tree 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 space tree 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 it won't work okay so you can't put space between the numbers so now that we have all the money in the world we can place a house so as you can see the house is here okay very nice house a beautiful house and nice view so imagine that I want to place a plant here in a corner but I can't place it in a corner because it is intersecting with a counter how do I make this work you have to open the sheet bar control shift C and type BB dot move object space on and press enter after that you press control shift C or L1 L2 R1 R2 in case you're in the PlayStation you have to press it all at the same time and as you can see I can already intersect this you can put anything anywhere with this sheet but it has to be in your lot limits you can put it outside but be aware that some things may not work like if I put a toilet in this bed it won't work the toilet won't work so you have to be careful with the distance between the items as you can see she can't use the toilet now that we already saw how to use move objects I'm going to show you another sheet but this one is to unlock objects imagine that I want to build an office here I go here I pick up a table for my computer I put it here and imagine that I want a chair imagine that I found this chair really beautiful but as you can see I can't select it because it is locked how to unlock these items, you press Control shift c again and you write bb.ignore gameplay unlock send entitlement. After that, if the sheet is right, it will appear ignore gameplay unlock sheet is on. So you press Control shift c again to close the sheet bar and if we refresh the page, you have to go to another object and go to the chairs again. You can see that all the objects that were locked are now unlocked and you can use literally everything that it is in a catalog. Not everything, because if you want to use the other objects you have to use other few sheets there are some hidden objects in the sims 4 so i'm going to show you the sheets to unlock them as you can see if we go to categories we only have unlocked purchase and if you have the mods activated it will appear custom content but because i have them disabled it won't appear here to unlock those secret items you have to press Control shift c again and write bb dot show hidden objects then you press enter and then you write bb dot show life 
edit objects and then press enter after that you close the sheet bar by using ctrl shift c again and then you refresh the page and you go to content and you will see that now we have this category called debug you can see that now we have loads of new shares but that's not all if you go to the search bar and write asterisk asterisk debug and you search by this you will see that there will appear loads of new items especially for landscaping it's literally insane we have trees we have loads of plants hidden thousands of landscaping and things to decorate your garden and we have some gameplay and lock things like the money tree here so now that you saw this i can close this and show you the next sheet the next thing that I'll show you is how to alt place things. What is alt place? As you can see, this is for as a grid that you can disable by using the key G. You press G and the grid comes again, or you can press G and the grid goes away. Even after disabling the grid, you can still see that the objects move. A square way, how to change this? You have to, while selecting the object, you press Alt key in your keyboard and you can see that now you can move your objects in a free way, which is a lot better. But how can you rotate them in a free way? That is a little more complicated. To use this, you have to use the Sims 3 camera. By default, the game has the Sims 4 camera activated. And the Sims 4 camera, I think it's terrible, but it is very easy for new players. The Sims 4 camera only has 8 ways to rotate your object. While for the Sims 3 camera, you can alt rotate it everywhere. So how do you use the Sims 3 camera? So, to turn your camera around like this, you just need to press the middle button of the mouse and turn it to the side that you want. If I want my camera to go to the right, I turn my mouse to the right. If I want my camera to turn to the left, I turn my mouse to the left. Now, to move away like this, you you just need to press the right button of the mouse. If you want to go to the right side, you just press the right button and pull the mouse to the right. If you want to go to the left, do the same thing, but the mouse has to go to the left way. Same from the front and the back, always holding the right button, never letting it go. How do I rotate these items? First you have to select the item and then while alt placing it, you need to press the left button of the mouse and turn to the side that you want. If I want my chair to go to the right side, I turn my mouse to the right. If I want my chair to go to the left side, I turn my chair to the left. Now I'm going to show a little trick to place items in a free way for counters. Imagine that you have this counter, as you can see here. You want to place two plants. Imagine that I want to place this plant and this plant. But as you can see, they are clipping to each other. You have to have the move object sheet and you have to use alt placing to do this. So first you push your counter way far from the place that you want to put the plants. Then you pick up the plants and you put it in the counter. After you selecting and letting the plant in the counter, you pick the plant again and with the alt placing key so you go here imagine that i want to place this like this and i pick the other plant and imagine that i want to place this like this and i rotate it and it is great as i want it then i put the counter back in place and it is perfect just as i want it imagine that you have this big plant and you want to use it in this bad side table but as you see it is too big how do I get it smaller? To get it smaller, you press the left bracket and you see that it will have a limit. To make it bigger, you press the right bracket, as you see in the screen. It doesn't have a limit, so you have to be careful because it can glitch your game. So be really careful while using this tool. Pressing the left bracket, I can make it smaller so it fits the table. But for the game code, this is still a big plant for this table. So how do I make this plant go to this table? You have to press the key, Control 9, because if you only press 9, you'll be taken to another place. So you have to be careful and press Control 9, and that will rise the plant. When you rise the plant enough, you can select alt place it and leave it there if you think that the plant is too too much up you can press the key zero so the plant goes down okay now this is the last build and buy trick imagine that you are building and you are doing landscape you want to make a forest and you want to make loads of trees it's really annoying to put a tree and then go again and put another tree and put another tree again what you can do is while pre putting the tree down you press the key shift and that will make the object appear multiple times until you stop pressing shift if you stop pressing shift no tree will spawn now going to the live mode as you can see we by using the testing sheets through we unlocked all the types of sheets to access this sheet ui you have to press shift 
while pressing your sim. Then you'll have all these options. You can cheat the needs so your sim will have the needs full if you select make happy or you can disable the decay or enable the decay. You can cheat marriage, reset if your sim is glitched, this is too good for it. You can cheat the info, pack sheets, you can kill the sims but be careful because if you try to kill another sim as you see here, the sim that gets killed is yours so you have to be very careful while using this sheet. This is all that we have for the simulation mod. Now for create a sim. If you go to the create a sim without using sheets, you will see that you can only modify his clothes, names, pronouns and aspiration. You can modify traits or weight or muscle size. So how do you change that? You have to go to the live mode, then you press Control shift c and write cas dot full edit mode. After that you press enter and close the sheet bar and then you can change your sim by going to a wardrobe or using this command and clicking modifying cas. Now that I'm here you can see that I can modify literally anything. I can modify his weight, I can modify his muscle size, I can modify his traits, I can modify his voice, his life stage. I can modify literally everything, I can make a plastic surgery to him. So that's all we have for creating some sheets. So that's all the sheets for today. If I missed something, tell me in the comments. And if you need help with something, tell me in the comments too. Please subscribe my channel, like this video, and I'll be open for suggestions for next videos of this channel. Goodbye Simmers, see you soon.